Welcome to Collaboration Butler. These three slides explain some benefits from Collaboration Butler. I will not read the slides, but talk you through it. What we have seen in the past years is that lots of companies don't want to use all their storage on Salesforce. They want a real separation of what's in Salesforce and what's outside Salesforce. But they still want to create that 360 degree view directly from Salesforce. Because it is easier to manage your customers over there and finding every important insight about them. We use Collaboration Butler ourselves in our processes because it is much easier to find the right content when it is structured within Salesforce. Another reason why we set this up is that customers asked us for solutions on working together on documents that are 95% okay, but still need some minor changes from the legal service or sales team after generating them. This was for us the first step towards Collaboration Butler, and the reason to create a 360 degrees view on Salesforce in combination with the complete Office 365 suite. It is not only SharePoint, but also OneDrive and Microsoft Teams as well. I'm not sure if you are using Teams, but it means that you can create the document and from Teams people can start collaborating on that document. Everything works in the context of the browser. This is very important to know. We always work in the security context of both Salesforce and Office 365. It is impossible that a certain user that has no access rights to certain folders or certain files and that he still is able to see this information because there is a system admin user configured in Salesforce to connect to Office 365. We will add those kinds of capabilities when needed, but for most of the use cases, it is clear that this kind of separation is much more secure. And then, last but not least, we integrated Collaboration Butler also with our actionable framework. This means you can take action on documents. So if you also have a PDF Butler license, before or after the generation, you can define actions to take. In the case of Collaboration Butler, it will be more after the creation of the document that you, for instance, can send it to the customer or send it for digital signing straight from Office 365 with Sign Butler, our digital signing tool. These were the slides. Let's continue with the demo in Salesforce. Our Collaboration Butler is a Lightning component that sits inside our Lightning page. You can put it everywhere. You will see that I use it in different places. This is, of course, configurable. Here you see we are on the level of an account. And automatically, when this account was created, we configured it to make a folder also in SharePoint. Over here, we have a complete overview of the folders and subfolders. Creating a new folder or uploading a file can be done from here. New actions like creating a new document, for instance, will become available in later releases. For now, let's add a folder called Contracts. So the folder is already created directly in Office 365, and as you can see, it is already here. In this folder, we can also drag and drop files, like, for instance, our DPA. When the file is uploaded in SharePoint and our list is refreshed, we can, of course, preview the document in Salesforce or open it directly in SharePoint. So like you can see in the URL here, this is the SharePoint from our company. So the story continues. We received an RFP from this company and want to create an opportunity for it. We enter some mandatory data, select the primary contact, and save the opportunity. So when we click on this bigger collaboration butler screen, 
what you see here is that we now created automatically a folder containing the opportunity name. Initially, it was not here. If I go back to SharePoint, you can see that the opportunity folder RFP was created about a minute ago. In this case, we had received an RFP and we have done a presentation for the customer. So we can just upload those files in one go from the Salesforce view to SharePoint. We see that the upload is done. And now we can send, for example, some extra explanation to the customer about the demonstration that we did. Thanks to the integration with PDF Butler, we can use the earlier created templates that are available for every account. In this case, there needs to be some changes done by another team, for instance, the legal marketing or service team. That's why we click on the Word Generate button here and it will create a Word fly file plus store it into SharePoint where the colleagues can do the necessary changes. I can preview the file, but for this use case, we need to open the file and start editing it in Word Online or the desktop version. We can add some things like, thank you for your attention. I want to highlight it in yellow. And when the changes are done, So if I look at the preview on the Salesforce screen, all the changes are here. Last but not least, if we have to send this out to the customer, we can do that straight away from this screen within Salesforce, thanks to the actionable framework from PDF Butler. Our so-called pack was configured that he can take the credentials from the primary contact from this opportunity. The configuration also was set up that we do not want to send a Word file to the customer, but a PDF instead. So at the customer site, our primary contact receives a branded mail with a PDF attached to it. In this way, most actions can be done within, without having to leave Salesforce. But if you want to manage more from SharePoint, you can open SharePoint, of course, also from the Salesforce screen. So this was our demonstration for Collaboration Butler on this use case. If you have another use case, feel free to contact us. We look forward to brainstorm about your requirements.